so we got a Shaman. Uh, this matchup can be a little difficult because they do have the power to really flood the board. Um, sometimes they play things like Nerubian Egg, which make your AoE less good. Um, we'll toss all of this. Belcher's alright. Don't really want to play Karen from a from behind because it'll just get hexed and it'll get further behind. But Belcher is pretty good. It trades pretty evenly with everything they have. Um, and things like Earth Shock are tricky, Hex. So Doomsayers almost never go off versus Shaman. And your Twilight Drakes could get sounds, then you might not be able to punish if you don't have the um, Duplicate or the Doomsayer waiting. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. Alright, so if we don't pick up a Freeze here, we might just Doomsayer and let him Earth Shock it if he wants to. Um, otherwise, we can wait. We really want a big swing turn with the Mount Molten Giants and the Doomsayer, so we'll probably Doomsayer later in the game and get to get the Molten Giants out. But we picked up a second one, um, so we'll let him burn an Earth Shock here if he wants to. Otherwise, he won't have an easy way to kill it. Um, Flame Tongue doesn't do it, and um, one of the three damage things doesn't do it either. But a Spell Power plus a Lightning Bolt would do it. Yeah, so he doesn't have an efficient way to do it, so this is fine with us. So we'll save the second Doomsayer. Just Arcane Intellect here. Cool. Don't have to coin if we don't want to. Since Water Elemental and Sludge Belcher trade with everything the same. And coin Belcher is more likely to get um, hexed. And this it's less pun it's less um painful for us to get this guy hexed. Um Frostbolt isn't out of the question, but we can't really I would like to Frostbolt and Scientist. But then he could get like a healing string totem or just play an overload to heal it up out of ping range, so I don't really want to risk that. I'd rather just play the water elemental here. You don't really want to frost bolt and play nothing if you have the opportunity to actually play something, unless it's something very threatening. And so I'll probably just go with the belcher here. Can't really play both at the same time because if if they gets well, actually I don't know how lightning storm works if it procs the the duplicate off one if the other one get duplicated but it can still kill with things like lightning bolt so we don't really want to play both at once. I was playing like wreckful stack with sea giants. Could go for a doomsayer here. Um, okay, got the polymorph top deck. So that's good. Um, this guy at 1 HP dies to um, Earth Shock. We don't really want to give him more Earth Shock value since he'll kill the uh, Death Rattle as well. Frostbolt face. Cost two mana, reduces the mana by three though, on two. Might be worth it at some point. Especially if we pick up another Frostbolt. Uh, ice block. I Frostbolt this thing though. So we don't want to cast the secret if we have the option to play the Mad Scientist instead. Cast two mana, puts a body on the board, makes him deal with it. And then we'll play this later when we have more mana to work with. If we played it now, we'd be giving up some tempo of the free 2-2 on the board. Although he does have a decent lightning storm here. So still planning for that big swing turn with the Doomsayer Molten Giant. Oh, 
hope I didn't lag out here. No. Um, so I think I'm okay with Belchers getting duplicated. I like them because they don't really die to um, AoE as much. So we'll get the duplicate going. Um, and we'll let him hex the Sylvanas if he wants to. We'll freeze his face. He hasn't used hex or shock at all. So I don't really want to use Sylvanas in a position from behind where I'd really want her to go off, and then it end up getting hexed or shocked. So I'll play it now when um I, when I can afford to get hexed or shocked. He's not really that inclined to either, since he doesn't have anything on board. Let's see if he has a second siege on here. He can trade both of these in, and then there'll be seven creatures on the board. So siege will be like I don't know how much siege giant costs ten, seven. So it costs like three. If you totems, it's two. Or, yeah. So you could probably get a free sea giant if he has other creatures to play this turn. So I still need a freeze if I really want to go in on this Doomsayer. But again, no earth shocks or hex hexes have been used. time here. Right. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't want to attack. So I'll save that. Well, yeah. That's our cannon select. I almost want a frostbolt and ping my face. Um. Let's see, do I want to keep Sylvanas healthy? I think so. I also don't mind frostbolting here. I don't think I can really lose at this point. You lose by getting overwhelmed early, but I got the taunt out because of the early Doomsayer. And then I got the duplicate active, so I'm pretty good. Should have just saved the Frostbolt for phase to make this game go faster and Frost Snow did last turn. Fortunately, Rag doesn't really do much, but it, it looks like that's my only play next turn is Frost Nova Rag. Oh man. Maybe Rag Pain gives me a higher chance of winning. I mean, it gives me a higher chance of winning next turn, but. Um, Let 
Maybe I'll just go with the Drake for the guaranteed. The more guaranteed chance of lethal next turn. Yeah, I like this. Queuing right if the ladder restart is. Oh, yeah, who knows? Maybe this guy's a legend player. He just had a bad draw. Bad start. If you want to see a higher quality game versus Shaman, you can see the game in the BGVN finals I had against Kalento, and it went down to like the last, uh, life fatigued, um, and he had like two cards left. That's a good watch, um, yeah. Uh, just waiting the full 90 seconds here. Taunt totems that make me waste more time. But yeah, there you go. 